welcome to another episode of the Spa Marketing Made Easy podcast. This is a big one. If you guys do not have a pen and paper, get a pen and paper. You're going to want to take some notes. There is so much information shared in this episode that it's like unbelievable. So I brought my dear friend, Tara Zerker on. Many of you know Tara. She is the founder of Successful Ads Club. What you may not know about Tara is that we actually met, I, gosh, it must have been like five years ago now. And we met through an entrepreneur uh, entrepreneurship group when we were both living in D.C., And someone connected us because she was running a marketing company, a marketing agency focusing on Facebook ads, but specifically for spa and wellness centers. And so they said, okay, you guys need to connect. We did. We became fast and furious friends. We went through, we were pregnant at the same time, had our babies at the same time. And have just like, she's a very, very special person in my life and now in my business, because as many of you know, we also have partnered with her on Successful Ads Club, creating a spa track for those of you who want to learn Facebook ads and how to use them specifically for spa. Now in this episode, we go through and give you 10 different promo ideas to help you 10X your spa business. Now, this is, like I said, this is amazing, amazing content. There's so much information here. So make sure that you get a pen and paper, not if you're driving, Um, but I want to give you kind of a precursor because so many people in spa, oh, Facebook ads don't work or they, you know, I don't see any return on them. And It's because there's a very specific way that you want to do Facebook ads. You want to really make sure, and I have my notes here. I've been like keeping notes because this is such a actionable um, episode, but there are five things that you want to have in place before you go to any of these like VIP strategies. So you'll see in the episode, we talk about um, the... Uh, one through four are super simple, easy strategies that you can do to just dip your toe in. I mean, literally with $5, like if you have $5 to spend, you can get into Facebook advertising. And there's even one strategy that has worked incredibly well that costs no money that we're sharing with you. So, you know, those are kind of the starting to dip your toe into Facebook ads. When we get into number five through 10 of the strategies, you're going to want to have these items on your checklist in place. So item number one, you want to have your offer. You want to be really clear on what that specific offer is. Item number two, you want to have a landing page. So a landing page is simply a one-page website, typically that's collecting name and email. And the reason that we do that is because your Facebook ad goes to a landing page, collects the name and email, and then sends them on their email nurture sequence. If you send them directly to a booking page, there are 10 million things that could happen that could get them off of your booking page. They could get a notification from Facebook. They could get a text. They could, you know, they're two-year-old could run in with marker all over themselves. I mean, there's so many different things that can happen. And if they haven't finished entering their name and email in there, you essentially have lost that lead that you spent so much time and energy getting. But if they have entered their name and email and then they run away because, you know, who knows what happens in life that pulls them away, at least you have their name and email that you can then start to uh, build that no like, and trust factor with them. Okay, so that's super important. Your offer, your landing page, your ad copy. So your ad copy is simply what you're going to write at the top of the ad. And typically the successful ads club method is having three 
different types of coffee. So short, medium, and long. And short can just be one or two sentences. And I like to like, don't reinvent the wheel. Like if you're doing a Brazilian wax, um, ad copy, it could just be summertime is here. Come in and get your wax. It can be literally that the medium copy could be summertime is here. Come in and get your wax. Waxing is da, 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 da. And just add like a couple more sentences to beef it, beef it up. And then the third, the long copy can just build on that and make it even longer testimonials work really great in there as well. So just look at it in that way, but you want to have short, medium, and long ad copy that you can test. Images for your ads. So you want to have three different images to test. Now I'm going to just talk for a minute here about something that I feel is super, super important. And that is the power of branded images of yourself, especially if you are a solo esthetician. So you are the face of your brand. You want to show off your beautiful skin. You want yourself like all over social media. And listen, you guys, I feel you. This is a real challenge for me um, in my social media. And I am like, I know this. I know how well it works. And it's so hard to find the time to get pictures taken of yourself or to do pictures yourself. This is something that, you know, with your smartphone, the cameras on these things are so good these days that you can just use those as long as you have good lighting. But you need to have consistent images taken of yourself that you can be using in it for your business, for your social media. So that's my little rant about that. But um, I would suggest when you're testing your images, um, you can create these in Canva. Canva is a free graphic design software, super easy to use. Just click the Facebook image, um, Facebook ad image. So that'll give you the right size. I would do one image of yourself. You could do a stock photo and Facebook has free stock photos. Um, so you don't have to worry about buying a stock photo or anything like that. And then I would try one that's graphics um, or like an image and graphic and just test what makes the most sense with your audience. And then number four, or excuse me, number five, you've got to have a follow-up plan. So that goes back to your email nurture sequence. So your email nurture sequence remembers what happens after they um, sent, they enter their name and email, they get added to an email nurture sequence on your email provider. So MailChimp is a really popular one. I typically recommend that for estheticians. Um, it's free for up to 2000 subscribers. You can create landing pages in there for free, um, which is really, really nice. So you don't need a ton of money to get started. You just need the time and the knowledge. So quick recap before we jump into the interview with Tara, you want to, before you get started on some of these strategies, you want to know your offer. Like, what are you promoting? You want to have short, medium, and long ad copy to test. You want to have three different images to test. You want to have your landing page and you want to have your email nurture sequence. And again, an email nurture sequence is a series of usually around five emails that you're going to be setting up that they'll receive over a seven to 10 day time period that invites them to book. So the welcome, maybe your offer is get a, com a complimentary underarm wax with any Brazilian treatment. So then your email nurture sequence, the first email, you would say, here's your coupon or here's your special code for a complimentary underarm wax with any Brazilian treatment, and then, you know, give a little bit more about yourself. And then here's the link to book. And then your second email is going to be added value, getting to know you a little bit more. And then here's the link to book. So you're wanting to constantly encourage them to book those treatments with you. And if they don't, at least you have them on your email list that you can still nurture them and allow them to get to know who you are, what you're about, and hopefully you're sending out content at least once a month. I would recommend once a week. Um, but if that feels overwhelming for you, just start with once a month and then build up from there. So 
Okay, you guys, this is like a full, <laughs> it's like a little mini masterclass in a podcast episode. So I'm going to go ahead and play that interview with Tara. Re-listen to this one if you need to. Send us a DM if you need to get in contact with us, if you guys have questions. And always, if you want to keep the conversation going, head over to the Spa Marketing Made Easy Facebook group. All right, you guys, here is that interview with Tara. All right, Tara, welcome back to the Spa Marketing Made Easy podcast. I'm so, this is your second time on, right? Yes. Thank you for having me back to the show. It's so exciting to be here. So I wanted to bring you on because the first time we talked about the power of Facebook ads and just kind of in general, what they can do for your business. But in this episode, I want to get more specific and we're going to talk about 10 ways that you can 10 X your business using Facebook ads. And I love this list that you sent over. So for those of you watching the video, if you see us looking at our phones, that's what we're doing because we have to take notes too. It doesn't all stay up here, but you gave 10 different offers or ways that you can use Facebook ads from someone who's just starting out, maybe has $20 to spend on ads all the way up to someone who's investing you know, hundreds or even thousands of dollars on ads per month. So let's jump right in. Awesome. All right. Well, we kind of split this up into two categories. So the first one, the first category is super easy type of, um, super easy type of promotion. You can do it literally with whatever content you currently are using on your Facebook or your Instagram or whatever, and how to just apply a little bit of ads budget to give it more longevity and also make it more effective. So that'll be um, the first category. And then the second category is things you can do to be a little bit more proactive and really start to generate what I like to call the 24-7 automated salesperson, meaning your ads are working for you around the clock. You don't even have to think about it. And people are booking in consultations or appointments. That's the dream. <laughs> Get off that hamster wheel of constantly yes. getting new clients. Okay. So the first one, and this is in that first category. So if you're just yeah. kind of dipping your toe into Facebook ads, this is a great place to start. I mean, if you're like a type A overachiever, <laughs> feel free to try any of these, but if you're just wanting to test the waters. The first, uh, strategy or way that you can use mm-hmm. Facebook ads is by boosting a post. So do you want to right. talk a little bit more about that? Yes. Now, okay. So let's, and you, Daniela and I have talked about this a few times in a few different ways and boosting posts is not technically the most robust form of advertising. However, there is a way that you can do it super effectively. So one thing that boosted mm-hmm. post is great for is generating engagement And so it's not great for getting people over to your website. It's not great for getting people to book in, you know, their, their appointments straight from that type of ad. But what it is really good for, it's going to target people that have a history of engaging with posts. So one thing you can be doing, especially if you know you're going to be boosting a post is just make sure that your call to action or, you know, the final sentence of your post is the thing that you want people to do, right? Make sure that call to action is asking people to get active with you in the DMs. So the direct messages, their personal inbox on their social media platforms. You can so do this on Facebook. To learn more about how yes. you send us a message. Yes. To get, so that kind of stuff. Now for exactly. this to be effective, you've got to make sure that you're answering you're paying attention yes, <laughs> and that you're answering in a timely manner. Cause that, you know, the, we have said before that boosting posts can be a big fat waste of money. Yes. They can, if they're not done properly, but if you're paying attention and you're really focusing mm-hmm. on that engagement and for me personally, and I know it's different in every platform, but for me personally, where I've seen this be really effective is in Instagram. Yes. It's a lot of DMs yep. happening in Instagram. And something that I love about DMs and in Instagram is the voice memo. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I know you can do that in Facebook too, but for some reason I never do. I always do it in Instagram and it just is, it creates a different level of connection. 
100%. And I really believe, and maybe this is something we can powwow on later, you and I, Daniela, but I believe if you don't have a DM, and I'm going to also add a texting strategy to your marketing going into you know this upcoming year, you're going to start falling behind because I really see that as being part of the future of marketing for sure. People are ready for personal touches. They want that concierge sort of feeling. And you can really give them that when you're in the direct messaging um, you know, capabilities of the apps or in text message. So right now we're talking about DMs, but this all could apply to texting as well. And this is, you know, this is nothing new for Spot. We see a lot of, of course, um, like Frederick, I think they joined with Booker. I'm not sure which um, site they're a part of, but um, text message reminders. But mm -hmm. remember, like so much in our world is automated and like how many people get so annoyed when you try and call like the airlines yeah. or something or you, yeah. you get all these like different buttons that you have to push. And now like with the power of messaging, if you mm -hmm. are there, it's like immediately you and you're having that connection with that person. Yeah. It's the no like and trust factor that you're absolutely you got to get for solos. Yes. And, well, you know, just to kind of anchor in exactly what you just said, because I thought it was really great. People want like we've got to reach people where they are spending time. Mm -hmm. So, yes, they're spending time in their email, but where are they spending far more time? social media. And you got to look at, I mean, Instagram, look at how it's developed over the last couple of years. You know, they've added stories, they've added messaging has become huge. Remember when direct messaging was just something you didn't really pay attention to? Listen, people are in their DMs all day long right now. And so you've got to realize not only do you have these super powerful uh, platforms, Facebook and Instagram, but within those platforms, there are areas where you can be far more effective. And the news feed's great. Is it the most powerful area? Absolutely not right now. Stories is taking over, and what's really taking over is the 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 messaging, right? The DMs. And so you've got to meet people where they're at, not only on the platforms that they're they're playing with, but also what what are they doing on those platforms? That's where you've got to be. And one thing that I love about this strategy is that it's, it's easy. Yes. You so don't easy. have to learn like yeah. you and I, I think you and I both will very openly say that <laughs> you probably want to throw your computer out the window when you start <laughs> learning Facebook ads. Like True. Yep. <laughs> when you get it, it's a complete game changer yeah. for your business, but this can just kind of going with this strategy can just start to give you a glimpse of what yeah. is possible. So, and it, it so really good. is Facebook and Instagram make it really, really easy to just boost a post. What's so cool too, is these things change. A year ago, you and I were talking about how ineffective boosted posts were. And at the time they were, and you know what? They're back in vogue because we have this new um, trend that we're seeing of people spending so much time in their in their their messages, and so now it's like aha! Now boosted posts become a far more efficient tool because you can really get people to start conversing with you, start these you know requests or conversations around their skincare or their skin challenges, and totally game changing. So um, I love this strategy. So easy to do. You guys, you just, you know how to do it. You see it probably in your Facebook all the time. There's always those prompts, boost your post to reach more people. You just go in there, you click that, make sure that you're targeting people that are obviously your ideal client and boom, send it off with three to $5 or even 20 to $50 if you have a larger budget, but three to five, that'll get the job done for sure. Awesome. I love that. Okay. So let's move on to, um, the second strategy, mm -hmm. strategy number two, showcase an amazing testimonial. So we gave you an example here. Kim has completely changed my skin. My brown spots are gone and my face feels and looks 10 years younger. I get complimented all the time and everyone at work is wondering what I'm doing differently. I tell them my beauty secret is Kim. So it all starts with a complimentary consultation. Click send message to get scheduled. And you guys, this is so many people, so many estheticians are like, I don't know what to write. Yes. I don't know what, go to your <laughs> reviews, go to your Facebook reviews, your Google reviews, your Yelp yep. reviews, copy them and paste them and use Canva. That's free, you know, create an ad. And there you go. Boom. 
Done. So easy. So this is another way to get into those DM conversations that we just were talking about. If you have a testimonial that's stellar, you know, from your collection of testimonials recent or even a little while ago, that's fine. Pull that out and use that as your ad. So this also goes into another piece of strategy, which is kind of being really strategic with your content, right? So if you if you hear this strategy and you're like, yes, I want to do that, then why not, you know, pull that into your content this week and make sure to say, you know, it all starts with a, you know, with a conversation, DM us to get on our schedule, DM us for your free consultation, DM us for your first appointment, whatever that, that call to action is and throw a couple dollars behind it or a few dollars behind it and just see what it generates for you. Um, not only is it great social media strategy, it's great ad strategy. So that's a really cool way. If you want to be really proactive, find one of your testimonials, make it into a quick piece of content, boost it, or turn it into an ad for something else too. We'll talk about that later on. But testimonials are amazing. I was actually sold on my current esthetician who I'm loving from a testimonial exactly like this. It literally said pretty much what I just, you know, what I wrote there. Um, And boy, that she should turn that into an ad. I keep telling her. So hopefully she'll do that soon because it's so good. It sold me. I'm sure it sold a lot of people. Yeah. And for those of you who are listening and you're saying, but I don't have any testimonials, get some. Yes. (laughs) Get some. This is either ask your clients. If you're just starting out and have zero clients, do uh, invite three to five people in for complimentary Mm -hmm. treatments and say, you know, I would love to do a service on you in exchange for honest feedback. Yes. So just get some honest feedback, get some testimonials out there that you can use in your business. And you don't want to fake these. You want them to be real. You want to say honest feedback, but that can be the name of the game to start getting people in. Absolutely. And how many of you are texting with your clients, um, you know, post-treatment or you're sending an email or some sort of follow-up to see how they're doing, how they like their treatment? That's a great time to just say, you know, they write back, I love it. I look so good. Da, da, da. It's a great time to write back and say, would you mind just, you know, really quick giving me 20 seconds of, you know, or a few sentences of your experience with me that I could use in my social media? Or you can even say, do you mind if I use this testimonial? Yeah. You've already done the work. And obviously you want to make sure that you respect, you know, and have integrity with those conversations. If it's a private message, you don't want to be posting it online. But if you ask them and say, hey, would you mind if I use that as a testimonial? Then they can, why not? Absolutely. So easy. So easy. Absolutely. Okay. So... Number three, free summer repair skin kit or whatever your promotion is. So decide what your promotion is for first time clients, DM or text to your scheduler to schedule your consultation or facial quantity limited, get yours while they last and doing something like this. Um, this is great for those skincare companies that are like, Hey, we've got these summer kits that you get for free when you purchase. Or we've got travel size that you get for free. Mm-hmm. You know, any in anything that you get for free, like I don't want you to eat way into your profit margin, but if you're getting this for free, then use it to get more clients in the door. Use it as a giveaway. Use it as some way to engage um, new clients. Or I would argue also VIP clients. 100%. Absolutely. That's a great, um, that would be a great thing to do. And again, this is such an easy way to get people to slide into your DMs. So, you know, if you have a promotion and especially, you know, a swag bag or something, you know, a little, um, like Daniela was saying, you know, often these, our vendors will offer these, these products or these kits. Great. Use that to your advantage. And if you say, I've got 10, 10 of these available, they're going to go super fast. Yeah. So, scarcity is a real thing. Yes, scarcity, is ab- especially when it's like genuine scarcity. You know, if you really have a limited quantity of something and you can say that, mm-hmm. great. And that's a great way to kind of fill some spots for you. So, you know, again, this goes back to being really proactive about your content 
and thinking about, you know, yes, maybe you have your monthly promotions. Can, is, is there something a little extra, a little special you could do? And, um, and again, get people right into those DM conversations, get them to book and get them excited because it's like, I want one of those, you know, did I make it in time? Um, and, and get them scheduled for sure. Love that. Okay. Number four, send your promos each month to everyone who interacts with you via messenger or DM. So also consider stories. Who wants to know the promos this month? Anyone who says yes, send them the details and add some urgency. So one of the tools that we use in our business is called ManyChat and it's free and it allows us to connect, you know, depending on how many people, if you're doing strategy one, two, and three, and you all of a sudden start getting all these DMs, you don't want to spend eight hours a day on your DMs, but ManyChat allows you to send messages to lots of people. And then you obviously respond personally Mm -hmm. to those people who write back. Absolutely. And, you know, definitely you want to think about scalability for sure. Um, and many chat is an awesome tool. There's, there's, uh, that's a great little bot builder that you can do and respond to people, send them their promotions, develop a, a subscription list, actually people who subscribe to your, um, to your chat bot. And then you can just blast out your promotions each month. Here's another really cool technique. If you are super active on Instagram, I know a lot of you are, then you know how there's the little poll sticker, right? So you're saying to people, Hey, who wants to hear, um, who wants, you know, a DM with my promotions this month, let me know. And you can also precede that question with a ton of content. So if your promotion is, let's say a hydrofacial, then what you should be showing the week leading up to that promotion is a bunch of benefits of hydrofacials. And what it does for the skin and how beautiful and that glow and with purpose. Amen. That is yes. We've got to be, we've got to use social media as a a tool for our business. Yes. It's actually generating a return on investment. It's not absolutely that we're just like, I know I should be on social media. I'm gonna go and scroll through for two hours <laughs> so I can check the box. Like Exactly. That's not going to get you new clients, you know, like exactly. be strategic ladies. Yes. Okay. Well, what's cool is this strategy is free. So when you, so you're preceding that content or you're preceding your promotion or preceding, you're seeding your promotion. And then when your promotion is about ready to roll out, you can say who wants in on my July promotions, let me know. And I'll send you the details. So you can use that little poll sticker. Yes. Um, yes, I want in, you know, and the other side could be send me the details. So no no matter which side they click, um, you've got basically a little list of people who want to hear about your promotions. So if you have 15 people, click that 20 people, 50 people, a hundred people, however many, um, then you can literally just copy and paste, you know, your promotions and just, just send it out to each of them. Does that make sense? How I'm explaining that? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Okay. Yeah. That's a really good free, that one's a free strategy. So no ad dollars there. Okay. So let's get into the more VIP level promotions. And these are more ongoing for people who are looking for that steady stream of clients coming in the door, getting an ad up and running that can just constantly be getting people on your schedule. So buy one, get one. Let's talk about that. Absolutely. And this goes back to the earlier piece that Daniela was talking about where this, you're probably going to want to start routing people now to a landing page. So we're graduating, we're growing. Well, we shouldn't say graduating because I actually think DM strategy is an incredible strategy that you should have in place no matter what. But these ones, these VIP or like advanced level promotions, you're going to want to have the checklist that we talked about in the intro. You're going to exactly. want to make sure that you have all of those to yep. run these promotions efficiently. Yep. And you will find if you are using kind of that DM strategy we just talked about, there will be places where you can, you know, incorporate that into some of these ideas as well. 
um, really, this is kind of a mixed bag. You guys can take pieces of this and make your own strategy. I think all of this kind of crosses over. But what's cool about this is now we're getting into that automated piece. So you have a few more tools in your toolkit. You have you know, a landing page. You have really well through, uh, thought through offer. You've got maybe an email sequence to follow up with them, or maybe you're following up with DMs, whatever you want to do. But now we're getting into some stuff that can really start booking you appointments while you sleep. I mean, literally, that can literally be your reality is you wake up and you see two or three new appointments um, and all you did was was sleep and your business was working for you on your behalf. One of the girls that I work one-on-one with, it was like probably three or four months of me being like, you need to do Facebook. Like, uh huh. Talk about Facebook ads. You yeah. Need Facebook ads. So finally, after like pulling teeth and twisting arms, <laughs> all of this, she spent like five hundred bucks on Facebook ads. Uh huh. And she got with five hundred bucks, she got eleven microblading appointments. Oh, that's awesome. And she was like, well, now I know what the big deal about Facebook ads. <laughs> She's like, now I know why you've been twisting my arm all all these months, and I'm like all right, so let's scale that. Like let's yes. did 500 bucks and got, you know, thousands yeah. of dollars of appointments and his yeah. microblading appointments are hundreds of dollars. I think that yep. they start around, I mean, I know you and I have our browser. Depending on the market, right. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So it's, it's hundreds of dollars, if not over a thousand. And, yeah. you know, to get that from a $500 investment, it's really about shifting awesome. your mindset of like, no, I'm not spending $500 on ads. I'm putting $500 in and getting Mm -hmm. 5,000 back. That's exactly right. And honestly, I mean, just a little secret into, you know, big business. That is how every big business builds their business. That's how they build their revenue is they make very strategic investments into primarily advertising, but also other forms of marketing. And they expect to see a return on that investment. Just as when you invest in the stock market, you hope and pray (laughs) that what you're investing in appreciates. And that is what good advertising will do for you. Okay. So what would be a good example of a buy one, get one offer? There's all sorts of things. I'm going to go back actually, Daniela, to one of your um, gems of wisdom that I picked up on and I love. So you could do something like uh, buy a facial and get a neck treatment or a hand treatment. So that could be an example of buy one, get one. You could also do the, you know, what everyone thinks of traditionally with buy one, get one, buy one, get another one, a certain percentage off. You could also do a buy one, get one. That's a gift. So buy one for yourself, get one, you know, 50% off as a gift for somebody. So then that has the potential advantage of increasing your clientele. Yeah. We see this with gift cards a lot, you know, buy a hundred dollar gift card, get, you know, $25 for a mom or whatever, when there's like these types of holidays. But yeah, with, um, with one of our, um, spa retail rock stars, who's also in successful ads club, she just did do a Brazilian wax, get your underarm compliment. Ooh, and I like it. Like blowing through those. She was doing so, so well with that. So, Ooh. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, I just recently noticed a dark spot on my hand. And so I was like, what? I have a sunspot (laughs) on my hand. And so I think that that is very enticing, especially if you're marketing to a demographic who is concerned about aging, then to, you know, I'd much rather have that than a discount. I'd much rather have somebody like if I'm doing laser on my face, I'd much rather have my bonus be like a hand treatment or a neck treatment. You can only tell the age of a woman by her hands and her neck. Absolutely. And I tell you, after I got that brown spot, I was like, uh, I see, I see now. Like I see the wisdom of getting your hands done and and treating your hands as kindly as you treat your face. So for sure. Okay. So let's talk about number six, dollar off or percent off first treatment. I think this... (laughs) I was going to add in right here. Because I have kind of a hard stance on this. Yes. I am not a fan at all of new client specials. And I'm only a fan if you are a Facebook ads master whiz Mm. and you can target only cold traffic. Uh, Yes. 
I agree with I this. Do not like mm-hmm. when we are focusing all of our energy and attention yep. and deals and specials on getting new clients in the door and ignoring the people who have already made that commitment to you, who you already know, like, and trust you. Those are the people that we need to be bending over backwards for doing mm-hmm. anything we can to go deeper with them and build that relationship. That's why I love VIP love specials. That. And, you know, yeah. there is a time and place for new client specials and new client promos, but in particular, when we're doing advertising, mm-hmm. send that to cold traffic. Yes. Yes. And what Daniela means here is, um, okay, ladies, when you are on, and gentlemen, I know there's some gentlemen on here. When you are on the Facebook ads manager, there is the ability, and if you're not familiar with it yet, you hopefully will be after this podcast, but there is the ability to determine or to choose people who are totally unfamiliar with you. Or who are maybe familiar, like maybe they've interacted with your page, but they're not on your email list, for example, or they um, have never been to your website. So you can actually target all of that really specifically. And that gets a little bit more advanced. But honestly, if you if you learn even the basics of Facebook ads, it would hardly take but a month for you to get to the place where you were excited to do some of this more advanced layering and targeting because you can really start to do some pretty acrobatic moves with your ads that really just bring in people that are brand new to you. And that's very cool. I think it takes three solid hours a week for a month. Agreed. Perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you can commit to, if you Mm -hmm. can take time on your calendar yep. and you can block out three solid hours a month that you are actually actively learning, not like reading blogs or scrolling on, <laughs> but like really learning this. Yeah. Strategy, then I think in a month's time, you'll be very intermediate yep. in your ads and there's always new stuff to learn, but you can, you can navigate your way around there. And I think of, um, I'm just going to pop in, you know, pop in a story right here, but one of our uh, successful ad club members who, um, you know, Daniela and I, for those of you who don't know, we, we teach together. There's a part of successful ads club that's dedicated just to estheticians. We teach that part together. And one of our members went through that part. I won't share her name because I didn't request permission in advance to share her story and her name. But um, within a month's time, it was literally within a month's time, she had run a $17,000 promotion doing some of these more advanced techniques that we're referencing. So, you know, she was doing the basic stuff that you learn and then, you know, who you are. are. And then she, she was super excited. She was like, okay, now I get it. I can layer all these people. I can target just, you know, this exact segment that I want. And that's what she did. And it netted $17,000 for her she business. She was just on our spa track, our strategy, our oh. call that we do. Awesome. That I do inside of Successful Ads Club. That's and so cool. we were talking about leads and she said, now her problem, her problem <laughs> is that every time she does an ad campaign, she gets three to 400 new leads. Well, so, new level, new devil. That's an yeah. amazing problem. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's a new problem. And she's yeah. You know, I spend all my focus now because we get so many leads and that's so many people to follow up with. Yeah, that that's I need right. To really turn my focus on client retention and that's right. About, like figuring out this balance. It's so we were literally just having this conversation two hours ago. <laughs> so. You know, that is such an exciting place to get to in your business, and I know many of you are there, and I know many of you listening are in the place where you're like, "Gosh, I wish I had that problem." But that's the place that I know Daniela and I, we, we talk about business a lot. And that's the place we love to be in is when those challenges get to the place of, um, you know, like that kind of problem is so good to have. Like I've got so much coming in or so many opportunities here that I got to figure out how to prioritize them and how to like nurture them. So that's, that's and great. One thing to remember for all the estheticians out there. If you look up, if you go to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, we the aesthetics industry is projected to grow 14% faster than average. So we are a growing industry. And there is so much opportunity for all of you. And the, yeah. the really amazing thing about aesthetics that I find that is 
not really the case in any other industry. I mean, maybe there is, but I'm not aware of it. You can be a microblader. You can be a lash yes. artist. You can be a makeup artist. You can be a product rep. You can focus on anti-aging. You can focus on waxing. Mm-hmm. You can focus on spray tanning. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, there's, there is like, I can go on and on and on and on. Endless. There's sugaring, you know, I mean, there's like so many different things that you can do with an aesthetics degree. You can open a day spa, med spa, you know, I mean, there's like so many different options. So there is more than enough business to go around and you really, it to live a really beautiful, abundant life. It's not like you need 10,000 clients, you know, you really don't Yeah, build a really thriving business in your community with, I mean, depending on how many people you have working for you, but just a hand, a couple hundred clients can really make a big difference. That's really it. I mean, it is incredible to think about that. Um, you know, those of you in small markets too, I know sometimes there's that scarcity feel right. Daniela in those smaller markets, you know, my, my town population is only 10,000 or 20,000 and boy, that's, that's just a gold mine. <laughs> you can, you know, that's just getting really deep into your community is what that is, which is cool. And the thing that I find so powerful is like, okay, you're in California, uh-huh. I'm in DC. We're mm-hmm. sitting here having a <laughs> video conversation. I can see everything that's going on with your skin and your mm-hmm. beautiful brows and all of this. <laughs> and one of our spa retail rock star students, she lives in a very small town in the Midwest and she is starting to do virtual consultations. Oh, she, I love it. She started an online skincare store using Shopify oh, cool. and from that, she's doing online consultations. Now the entire United States is her market. So I love it. If you have an internet connection and you've got some knowledge in your brain, yeah, and you're willing to put yourself out there, you can create whatever you want to create. The sky so, really is the limit. That's yes, amazing. You are now able to compete with the Amazons of the world. Yeah. And the barrier to entry, like just... Think about this. If you can sit and actually have a one-on-one conversation Mm -hmm. with an esthetician, with someone who is knowledgeable in skincare, wouldn't you rather do that and get a customized consultation Mm -hmm. and have your products shipped to you in two days, which you can do by the way, (laughs) and rather than like buying it on Amazon and not knowing Mm -hmm. if it's counterfeit or if it's expired Mm -hmm. product that was sold from a different rep or what, you know, like when skincare Mm -hmm. companies want to get rid of a line, a lot of times that's the kind of stuff that ends up online. So it's, it's just going back to that same strategy of the DMs. It's like people want personal connection. We crave personal connection because we live in such a world of automation Mm -hmm. that, you know, to have that conversation and that connection, you, the sky is the limit. If you're willing to put the work in to learn Facebook ads, to figure out how to do Shopify to, for a few hundred bucks, you could create a business that is whatever you want. Oh, it's so good. And there again, I hope that you as the listener are just picking up on this theme that Daniela keeps saying so eloquently of just like personalize the experience personalize the experience. People want a connection with you. We're presenting a few ideas on how you can achieve that. But the truth is you might have other ideas that come to mind. You might send out a, I don't know, a snail mail newsletter about skincare in your community. And that could be all the rage. You might figure out all the different ways of having personal connection and really make it your own. But as long as you are, you know, Daniela just brought forth this beautiful example of one of her clients who is figuring out how to do that with the internet. Many of you don't want to go into your studio. You just want to work from home and you wish that you could figure out a way to do that without having people come over. And hey, that's a really awesome idea. I love it. The world is becoming so interconnected. And with that interconnectedness is just opportunities, Daniela, that you and I haven't even thought of yet that someone else is thinking of right now. 
One of just one more quick idea that I'm going to throw in here while we're on this topic is um, another one of our spa retail rock stars does this thing called the free delivery Fridays. And Ooh. She lives in a small town in California, in Northern California, and she um, she hired a high school student that she pays ten or fifteen bucks an hour, and every Friday they do free delivery and they drive around and deliver the products. And oh my goodness! Yeah, like. Is one hour, think about how many oh, people brilliant. You get the products to. It's that personalized service. You could write a handwritten note. You could include some little gift. Oh. Like that's return on investment. That's something that is, you know, you can call up your clients and, hey, it's Friday. Just wanted to check in. We do free delivery Fridays. Wanted to know if there was anything you needed restocked because we can get it to you today. Ah, that's amazing. Boom. There you go. You're I would do that in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. Yeah. And like, how special would you feel? And I can't take credit for that because that is actually my spa retail rock star student that came up with that, but she's, she's amazing. She's an amazing uh, businesswoman and really cool. like making things happen for herself. So um, I just love seeing what ideas other people come up with. So that's goes to your point. Like, yes, we're giving you 10 awesome ideas of ways that you can market your business and strategize, but, um, there's so many more out there. Oh, so many, it's just, it's endless. That is, and that's something I would have never thought of, you know, just not in a million years. And yet, if I saw that, if my esthetician offered that, Heck to the yes, would I be taking her up on that? And can I just say too, while we're here, I believe this is probably something you cover, Daniela and Spa Retail Rockstar, correct me if I'm wrong, but following up with your uh, your um, your patients. Oh, yeah, who should, we have a whole module on it. <laughs> yeah, like please, please <laughs> listen to that module, you guys, if you're in Spa Retail Rockstar and if you're not, like, I don't know it's, if you need more encouragement, but Daniela is the queen at this, but my heavens, how many times am I running out? I'm at the end of the dipper and it's like, somebody should be calling me. I literally would just say, yes, please reorder. You have to anticipate the needs of your client before they realize that their needs. And <laughs> yes, this is, this is the part of business. It's like, how bad do you want it? <laughs> you know, not build it and they will come, you know? Yeah. Yes. You have to be consistent on social media. Yes. You have to learn how to do Facebook ads. No, Facebook ads are not fun. Well, maybe to you. <laughs> I beg your it's not, pardon. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like the thrill that you get from laser hair removal or from, you know, the things that I love. Um, but it's, it works, you know, it works yeah. and it allows you when you focus on these, like not super fun or sexy parts of growing your business, you do that because that's what moves the needle. And yes. the more money you're making in the, in your business, the more people you are able to impact, the more women you are able to help look and feel their best and have more confidence and show up for their families and show up for themselves and go after the promotion. And it, it affects, like, I talk about this a lot, but it's so important to me. I want to just like really pound this message in. Like it is life changing when you clear someone's acne. It is. We, we all have these struggles of, I don't feel good enough, smart enough, pretty enough, skinny enough, like whatever it is. When you can make someone feel good about themselves, you are literally changing their life. And so don't get stuck in this, like, oh, I'm just an esthetician. I'm just like, you are doing amazing things. And the more people that you can shine your light on in that way, which yes, that means making more money in your business, but the more people that you can touch in that way, it's like, you are literally changing your community. So I have a I'm, tear. <laughs> I know I literally have it and I'm a little hormonal y'all you guys because I just had a baby but I literally have a tear it I and I won't even say more about that but it's I've experienced I've been on, that's why I got into this world I've been on the um the, the end of being the you know the patient on the in coming in and like like begging for a solution basically and I just I'm like tearing up just thinking about the change that I've personally experienced yeah. It's been everything. You went through a lot of 
Mm-hmm. Acne and pigmentation. Yep. And look at your skin now. Your skin looks yep. amazing. Night and day. So and we've got some work to do, but it's it's almost there. And I'm I'm just like my life feels changed because of it. Um, okay. So on that note, let's switch back <laughs> to, <laughs> to <laughs> strategy number seven. Yes. dollars for a facial. <laughs> and this kind of goes back, Daniela, to what you were just saying about the percentage off or dollars off. I mean, those are kind of <sighs> I think I'm those say I like I like dollars off way better. I think that I agree. I agree. Don't care about 10% off or 15% off. Yep. Who cares? It doesn't catch your attention. It's tough to calculate. To see, yeah. Save $25. Save yep. $50. Save $100, you know, depending on what it is. They want to know what they're saving. Like the percentage mm-hmm. is too many calculations. I'm right Unless there with it's you. Like save 75% off. I would not advise <laughs> Please do not do that promotion. Please don't do that. Um, okay, but there is something magical about ninety nine dollars. Like, yeah, people love. We did this actually at Potomac Medical Aesthetics for a little while. We did ninety nine dollar hydrofacials, which we normally charge one seventy five. And hydrofacial is something that you guys that do it, you know that the cost of treatment is pretty high. But the point is to get people in the door. And this is not a new client only special. Mm -hmm. This is all of your clients, but it's to Mm -hmm. re-engage those people who maybe they haven't been in for three or more months and you're wanting to get them back in, but it's a quick, like get them in the door. And then while they're there, Mm -hmm. revisit and find out what their skincare journey is. Mm -hmm. What do they care about? Right. Because my whole philosophy is if it doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother me. Right. We are in the Mm -hmm. business of building women up and and men, but I mostly work with women. Um, So we're in the business of building women up and making them look and feel their best. So you get them back in for a treatment, you give them an hour to, you know, rejuvenate their skin and let them relax and refresh and all of that. And then you find out what their needs are. And you come up with a path, a journey, a skincare journey or client journey or whatever you want to call it to help them get back on track. I love it. I love it. But there is there. I don't know if it's like psychological, but there's something about $99. I agree. It's so effective. And what Daniela just said, I'm just going to anchor in um, for everybody is with Facebook ads. So Daniela mentioned that's a great promotion, for example, to re-engage maybe a part of your, your customer or, or client list that you haven't seen for a while. So on with Facebook ads, let's say you just wanted to get that promotion out to people who you haven't seen for a bit. You can do that with Facebook ads. You can segment off your list, you know, your email list, your client base, and you can say, I want people I haven't seen for what period of time, Daniela, three months or more or six months. Three months yeah. Is usually, I like to, I like to do those kind of things quarterly, like re Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So three months is kind of the marker. So you can parallel that with your email campaigns that are trying to reach those folks and send ads to them. Remember, we're trying to get people where they're at. So maybe they didn't even see the email or they open the email and they're like, oh, that's awesome. I got to remember to do that, you know, tomorrow morning or something. And so you can kind of remind them with the ads, which is pretty cool. And you guys, I just want to not assume this, but you guys do know that you can upload your email list. To oh, Facebook. good point. Um, mm-hmm. And you can you can create what's called a lookalike audience, mm-hmm. um, which is a really really powerful tool. So oh, um, what we're talking about, and I know in Successful Ads Club you get way into the dreaded pixel, <laughs> <laughs> how to pixel your website and pixel all this kind of stuff. But the pixel is basically what's tracking these people. It's like. Yep. Um, letting you know, you know, oh, this person landed on this website or they clicked on this or clicked on that. You can measure all of those kind of things. And when you upload your email list, because usually with spa, we're looking, we're kind of starting with zip codes, um, you know, creating lookalike audiences, but zip codes is really a pretty common thing to start with for brick and mortar businesses, which is what you guys are. Um, But what really makes that even more powerful is by uploading your list of existing clients and 
showing your ads to people who are very similar to them. Cause Facebook has like an ungodly amount of data mm-hmm. on all of us. And so <laughs> why not use it to your advantage to build your business? (laughs) 100%. For better or worse, we're all being tracked like crazy and your ideal clients are being tracked like crazy too. So yeah, take advantage of it in a non-creepy way. There's there's plenty of of room to do that for sure. (laughs) That's that's the quote for this podcast. Take advantage of it in a (laughs) non-creepy (laughs) way. Words of Wisdom by Tara Zerker. (laughs) I do what I can. Okay, so I'm going to put eight and nine together because they're they're really close. So product with service or service with product. And the service with product is what over in Spa Retail Rockstar, we have lovingly coined as the retail reversal. And this Mm -hmm. is a notion that we teach in there that's essentially spend $200 on retail, get a chemical peel for free. I love that one so so much. What that does, and I have to give some credit to whoever the author of blue ocean is because I Mm. know their name right now, but essentially that book, if you guys haven't read it, it talks about how to really stand out in the market. And, you know, when we talk about like, Oh, nobody cares about 10% or 15%. It's like everybody offers that. And so it just doesn't mean anything to us. How do you create an offer that people are like, holy bananas, like how am I going to turn (laughs) that one down, you know? And the retail reversal, when you do something like a chemical peel that's valued at 175 or whatever you're charging, it's like, yeah, of course I'm gonna do that. Oh, such a no-brainer. Yeah, And, um, and then product with service, that's kind of like bundling in your products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And which I think is also a really great strategy depending on the service. Mm. Great caveat there. Yeah. So you can really do a lot with these with ads and um, testing like what works with your audience. Um, Anything else you want to add on either of those two before we finish it off with? No, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay. So number 10 This is something that is like been the promo of 2019. Like (laughs) I have had more estheticians smash their goals and like be like, holy cow, I can't believe that I didn't do this before. My entire business is completely changed because of this promo. And drum roll, please, the buy 100, get 100. So how does this work? You spend, you buy a $100 gift card, you get five $20 gift cards or four $25 gift cards. I don't care which way you want to do it, but you essentially get the five $20 gift cards that you can give as gifts that you can, but you can only use one per service. So what that's doing is creating client retention. So they have to come in five times to get $20 off. Not good towards product. It's only good towards services and there's no cash value. And Mm -hmm. so it's essentially a $20 off coupon on whatever service they want, but it's all in how you package it and present it, right? So they can choose if they want to use it on a brow treatment, if they want to use it on a hydrofacial, if they want to use it on a waxing, whatever it is, but it's one per visit, no cash value and good towards services only. And, um, I know, I feel like I'm like highlighting all of my students, but I have so many students that have done amazing things with it. And we, the one that's coming to mind right now is, um, Misty who's in Florida. She had set this goal of her, for herself to do 20 gift cards. And she was like, all right, I'm going to try it. My goal is going to be 20. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, awesome. Like, let's do it. She sold 57. Oh, good job. Wow. That's amazing. Yes. So that's, you know, $5,700, right? Because it's a $100 gift certificate. So that's cash flow coming into your business. And then you have all of these other services of these people that they're either going to be passing these out for Mother's Day or for dads and grads or like whatever the promo is, it's really Mm -hmm. good to do these kind around Mother's Day or around, um, you know, the holidays or times where people are giving lots of gifts. 
Um, but that promo has been like, off the charts. We have oh. seen so much success, specifically in small retail rockstar. It's really been the retail reversal and the buy 100, get 100 that have been like taking the cake. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. I love that one so much. That is so good. I feel like I want to rip this microphone off and like do a mic drop for you, Daniela. <laughs> okay. So let's do a quick recap here. So um, hey. the easy dipping your toe into the world of Facebook ads. We have the boosted post. Mm -hmm. We have showcase an amazing testimonial. We have a free summer repair, uh, skin kit or whatever your, you know, you can get from your product rep, send promos to anyone who interacts with you on DMS. So those are your first really easy. And those are very low budget or no budget. Mm -hmm. Uh, then we move into the more like, all right, I'm going to really like get into this and start <laughs> seeing some real change in my business. We have the buy one, get one. We have the money or percent off your treatment. We have the $99 facial. We have a product with service. We have a service with product and we have the buy 100, get 100. Whew. So I want to see some action. <laughs> I want to see some action from our spa marketing made easy community. Uh, yes. I want to see you guys really putting yourself out there. And so send us a DM, let us know, let Tara know, let myself know what you're going to do and how we can help you with these strategies. Because what I have learned is that you are the biggest obstacle to your success. I see so many estheticians that are just like unbelievably talented, amazing, inspiring women who are holding themselves back mm. because social media is scary or technology is scary. And you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to get it perfect. Just go for it. Just try it, you know, and know that you have the resources in the community around you to support you. So we've got our free Facebook group, the Small Marketing Made Easy community. Tara runs the Successful Ads Club. So if you guys are interested in that, just send Tara a DM. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Spa Retail Rockstar, which will always be announcing our launches um, and when we're opening enrollment. But there's and how many episodes we have nearly a hundred episodes of this podcast of free training for you. So whether you want to start out in the free arena, you want to, you know, invest a little bit of money and move a little bit faster, like whatever makes the most sense for you, there's no reason for you not to take action. We've given you strategies that you can do with zero dollars, just your time, you know? So it's really like just put one foot in front of the other and make it happen. So, all right, you guys, I love you guys. I want to see you succeed. Tara, do you want to um, let people know where they can find you and follow you and connect with you? Absolutely. The best place right now is Instagram. I'm spending a lot of time there and I'm loving it. And um, within Instagram, of course, it's in my messages. So DM me, Tara Zerker, T-A-R-A-Z-I-R-K-E-R. Perfect. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me.